Come on and celebrate. He's given love, he will celebrate. The Son of God who loved us and gave us life. We shout your praise alone. You, you give us joy, nothing else can bring. We give to you our offering in celebration, praise. Come on and In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers, and sisters, today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the Feast of the Ascension of our Lord. Ascension marks the completion of Jesus' earthly life and the beginning of his heavenly life with his Father seated at his right hand. Before going back to his father, Jesus addressed his mandate to his disciples with an instruction, go out to all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And the disciples received this mandate. Today, my dear friends, we also celebrate the 55th World Communications Day. And so I request all the viewers of this Mass to pray for the Universal Church, especially for the members of the Pauline family, whose main charism is to spread the Word of God through the means of communication, and who transmit every day, the daily Eucharist online, and also the daily Eucharistic visit in the evening from 8.30 to 9, so that they may remain faithful and committed to their charism in spreading the word of God through this media. But dear friends, at the time of Jesus, the disciples went out to preach the gospel as he gave the mandate. Today, we each one of us have received the same mandate to proclaim the gospel to everyone. How are we doing this ministry? Are we faithful or not? At times we are totally irresponsible. We take it for granted. And at times we become selfish, we are proud in fulfilling this mission. For all these failures, let us be sorry and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. Acknowledging our failures and sins, let us say all together, I confess to, to Almighty God. God my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on each one of us, 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to God Almighty. Be so to all His friends. Be thank, be praise, we worship Him, the Lord, the King and Father. His only Son, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of all the Lamb of God, who saves the world from all its sin, to Him we pray. Glory to you, the Holy One. Glory to you, the only Lord. To God be glory, Christ most high, the Spirit and the Father. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ, where Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The first book, O Theopolis, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them after his suffering by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he has said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of is to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks to be to God. Lord. Psalm response. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with the trumpet blast. God, God goes, goes up with shouts of joy. joy. 
the lord goes up with trumpet blast all people's clap your hands cry to god with shouts of joy for the lord the most high is awesome the great king over all the earth response god goes up with shouts of joy the lord goes up with trumpet blast god goes up with shouts of joy the lord goes up with a trumpet blast sing praise for god sing praise sing praise to our king sing praise response god goes up with a shouts of joy the lord goes up with a trumpet blast god is king of all the earth sing praise with all your skill god reigns over the nations god sits upon his holy throne response god goes up with shouts of joy the lord goes up with trumpet blast second reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians brethren the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him having the eyes of your hearts enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the knowledge of his great might that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named not only in this age but also in the one to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him who fills all in all the word of the lord thanks be to god hallelujah hallelujah Go and make disciples of all nations as the Lord I am with you always to the end of the age Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus, appearing to the eleven, said to them, "Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation." Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved but whoever does not believe will be condemned and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name they will cast out demons they will speak in new tongues they will pick up serpents with their hands and if they drink any deadly poison it will not hurt them they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover so then the lord jesus after he had spoken to them was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of god and they went out and preached everywhere while the lord walked with them 
and confirm the message by accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, there is an ancient legend about the ascension of our Lord. To make it short, the legend is, Jesus went to heaven with all his wounds of crucifixion visible. As he reached heaven, all those who were in heaven came and saw all the wounds of Jesus. They were surprised to see. And also the angel Gabriel came and saw the wounds of Jesus. And the angel asked him, why so much wounds are visible to you? How much you suffered for your people? Do the people know that you have suffered for them so much? Jesus said, Oh no, nobody knows. Only a few people in Palestine knows about, knows, know about that. Many of them do not know who I am. Then the angel Gabriel asked, How will you make known that you suffered for the people, you loved them so much to the entire world? How will you make known this? Jesus says, my disciple will tell others and they will come to know. Again, the angel asked, how can you be sure? They are human beings, they can forget. They may not be able to communicate to everyone. And so your suffering will be waste. Do you have any other plan to communicate this much of suffering to the entire world? Jesus says, I don't have any more plan. I have only one plan that I have told my disciples and I count on them. They will communicate to others and those people will communicate to others and they will go on communicating till the entire world comes to know about it. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of our Lord. That is, Jesus entering into heaven with all his glory, both as God and as man. And the Ascension is one of the six most important components of our Christian faith. First, the Incarnation death of Jesus, the resurrection, ascension, the coming of the Holy Spirit, and then finally, the second coming of Jesus. And so today's feast gives us just two reasons to rejoice and praise God what happened before the ascension and at the time of ascension. First of all, the Incarnation. Jesus came to the earth to establish the Kingdom of God. To establish the Kingdom of God, he chose 12 Apostles. He formed them for three years. He taught them, he preached them, the nature of this kingdom of God. He told them to establish through his preaching. And they also went here and there to teach, to preach, and to heal. At times they were successful in their mission. At times they were not successful. And Jesus also empowered them with power and authority to go and proclaim and he also said, 
the son of man will suffer he will be killed he will be crucified on the cross but he will rise again my dear friends the tomb could not keep the body of jesus more than 3 days he rose again as he told his disciples and after the resurrection jesus appeared to his disciples for 40 days at different locations in various times he appeared to mary magdalene he appeared to his disciples in the upper room and told them peace be with you he appeared to disciples while they were fishing in the sea of tiberias he appeared to his disciples while they were on the way to the emmaus to confirm to reconfirm that your god is not a dead god but a living god it is i is not a ghost he confirmed them that god is a living god and once the disciples were convinced of the resurrection yes jesus is risen and now jesus bids a tender farewell and goes back to his father he has accomplished his work now he taught his disciples what they have to do hereafter and they are convinced they are committed now the time has come for him to go back to his father and he went back and the clouds came and took him from the sight of his disciples my dear friends the incarnation and the ascensions meet at a point in the incarnation god comes down from heaven to the earth in the ascension god goes back to heaven from the earth and that is the ascension and the second point which i would like to share with you is before going back to his father jesus is transferring his responsibility jesus is entrusting his mandate to his disciples with an instruction as we heard the gospel of today go out and proclaim the gospel to every creation and he also empowers them with the power and authority to teach to preach and to heal as i said in my introduction in the beginning itself jesus counts on his disciples jesus counted on peter james and john that they will remain faithful to my teachings and they will communicate today my dear friends where are those people they are you and me we all of us have received the same mandate of proclaiming the gospel through our charism through our own abilities through our own capacities to preach the gospel to everyone it is our duty to make known who christ is in this world my dear friends let us ask ourselves how are we communicating this christ to others today we need to ask this question to each one of us and during this mass let's pray for this grace that god will give us strength and courage to go out take risk in our lives and communicate who god is as i said the other day god is love let us communicate this love of jesus so that we become both instruments to serve in his kingdom let us stand and profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead and i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen
my dear friends after having completed his earthly mission jesus returns to heaven and is seated at his father's right hand at the time of his departure jesus commands his disciples to preach the gospel to the entire world becoming aware that this mission is entrusted to us let us now place our petitions before the lord saying lord make us your messengers lord make us your messengers for the pope bishops clergy and religious that as figures of the service of authority in the church they may carry out the work of evangelization with courage we pray lord make us your messengers for christians all over the world that by actively living their faith they may bear witness to christ and his gospel we pray lord make us your messengers that on this world communications day we may pledge ourselves to live the message of the gospel ever more actively and communicate it with the best of our abilities through the means that are available at our disposal we pray lord make us your messengers that the catholic communicators may use the media to teach inform edify and build up the faith enshrined in the scriptures and the teachings of the church we pray lord make us your messengers for all of us here present that the celebration of the ascension of the lord may help us to be zealous apostles of the good news we pray lord make us your messengers let's pray in silence for our own personal petitions god our father we thank you for the gift of your son jesus who's returned to your presence in heaven we celebrate today by making him sit at your right hand you have given him due reward and honor give us the grace that we too may accomplish our mission as we await our reward we make this prayer through christ our lord amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become for us the spiritual drink blessed be god forever lord god we ask you to receive us and please do sacrifice we offer you humble and contrite hearts lord wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins
Let's pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may raise up to the heavenly realms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest to heavens, as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following him, where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, our Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate 
the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope anil kutta our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coherent to our life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, "Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation." and deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said in apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with your spirit. spirit let's greet one another the gift of peace peace be with you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ bring me everlasting life amen My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold, I am with you always. You went to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, our living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. Amen. May He grant that as Christ after His resurrection was seen plainly by His disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show your, himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. Amen. And may you, who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty, know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to proclaim God's love. Thanks be to God. Every spark of fire blazing in the furnace, every captivating view. Every rainbow in the sky, every pretty butterfly, tells a fascinating news to those who dare to hold.